Hi guys, today we're going to talk about specking skirts and I'm going to kind of bleed that into a little bit about how you can uh, spec dresses because it's kind of a combination between your specking the top and specking the skirt. So I got a simple skirt over here, so we're sticking with this sort of simple garments for the demos. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to fill out the spec sheet and go over sort of the measurements. Um, and so we have a little bit of a measurement description for each of the measurements we have on the spec sheet. And a lot of these are going to be carried over from the pants, especially in the upper area. So let's take a look at our spec sheet for the skirt. First measurement we have is across the waist. And as you can see, across the waist is side seam to side seam along the waist seam. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure, let's get a good color. Be able to see it, so let's make it green. And we're going to measure side seam to side seam right there. So that would be straight across. Now I didn't do it up here that you noticed. I did it right here along that side seam right there. Okay. And let's just assume maybe that is, oh, I don't know, 14 inches. Now we're going to look at the waistband width. Now that is the same as the pants. We just measure from the top of the waistband down to that waist seam right there. Just like so. Let's get a thicker, slightly thicker line to work with. Get out of here, I don't need you. See that a little bit better. All right, so let's say that we have a one inch waistband and now let's go across the high hip. Now the high hip is measured three inches uh, down below the waist, side seam to side seam. So what we're going to do is for the front, we're going to measure along that center front, we're gonna measure down three inches. So probably like around here, about by the end of this first stripe, sort of, you know, guessing. Um, so we're gonna measure three inches down and we're going to measure a point from side seam to side seam like so three inches down from the waist and straight across. Okay, and that is our um, high hip and for the front. And let's say that that is, oh, I don't know, let's give it, let's say 16. Now we would do the exact same thing for the back measurement we'd flip it around and measure three inches side seam to side seam on the back. Let's say that's about, I don't know, 17. Now what we're going to do is we're going to measure across the hip and the hip is seven inches below the waist. So what we'll do It's the same as before. We measure from that waist seam along the center front down to the full hip, about like so. And then we're going to go ahead and measure across. Let's say side seam. Let me do a new line for that. Side seam to side seam. Okay. And let's say that that is. 19 inches and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the back and let's say that is 21 inches and now we really should be seeing sort of differences from the front and back again back is going to be a little bit bigger than the front now we want to sort of get into the um full length here so full length of a skirt is measured very similar to full length of a top except um, we don't, of course, start at the neck. We start at the waistline, okay? And again, I'm starting as the waistline. We really think of the waist uh, band as sort of a separate entity. 
Um, again, as it is, it's a separate pattern piece. So when I'm taking measurements, I'm more interested in the measurement of this piece, this central piece here. Um, and if we were to include the waistband, we, we typically would note that we do. A lot of times this is, it doesn't say that it's clear here. So a lot of times just to make sure that there's no confusion, we will say, you know, um, including waistband or, you know, from waist seam, and this would be waist seam here. This is not waist seam up here. Um, uh, and we would include that in there. So if you want to go ahead and include that too, just makes it a little bit more clear. So what we do is we measure in the along the center front from that waist seam straight down to the hem. And that's a little bit below the knees. So, oh, let's say that's, um, I don't know, let's call it 27 inches. And so that would be the center front. And then we do the same thing on the back, just along the center back. Now it might be a little bit longer because as the sort of butt kind of goes out a little bit farther in back, we might see something a little bit longer in back along that center back seam. Probably is gonna be the same, but we might see something like um, 27 and a half. Now I have the full length side seam, which should either be, if these are the same, and everything is straight across like this, this will be the same, and it's not terribly necessary. But if you start to get a skirt that has an asymmetrical hem or, or you know, um, an uneven hem, sometimes they're a little bit longer uh, on the sides than they are in the middle, kind of kicks up a little bit, or it cuts up like this, then you would need a full length on the side seam. And if it cut up like this, you would need two. You would need one on the right, uh, one on the left, and one on the right. Um, similarly, uh, again, if you had maybe say like a skirt that did this, your center front and center back full lengths are going to be shorter than your side seam or take the reverse. If it gets shorter on the side, dips down in front and back, so on and so forth. And then of course, too, you can have a kind of one that kind of goes around and it's has a much longer center back, much shorter center front length, and then sort of midpoint. Um, at the side seam. So um, it's probably going to be very similar. So I'm just going to say it is 27 and somewhere in between. Then we have a few more across measurements to sort of measure how it narrows in. We have um, across the thigh, front and back. And if we check our notes, thigh is going to be measured at 15 inches below the waist. So we're going to measure down 15 inches till we get to about mid thigh. And then we're going to go ahead and measure side seam to side seam straight across. Oops. Didn't mean to press that. I don't know what I pressed. So this line right here. Okay. And it should be, as you see, it's starting to go a little in from our hip. Um, and again, if yours flares out, it should be bigger than the hip. As this goes in, it should be uh, fairly similar to what you got for your hip measurement. So in the front, I got 16, so maybe a little bit shorter. Let's call it 15. And then same thing for the back. We'll call that 16. Now cross knee, very similar again. We're just following on the, along this pattern. This time it's going to be 23 inches below that waist. So we're going to go ahead and bring this guy down to 23 inches, and our knees are going to be about right here. And you guessed it, side seam to side seam, straight across. And as you can see, this is coming in and in and in, so it might be probably a inch even less than we got before, and we see that kind of lining up, maybe not as much as the waist, um, so let's say just a little bit less, this will be about 14 and a half, and this will be 15 and a half. Next we have the sweep. 
Now the sweep is the opening. Just like the sweep is the opening for the shirt, the sweep is the opening for your skirt as well. Now you might not get some of these. You might not have a knee because if it's a short skirt, you won't have it, of course. But for our sweep, we're going to measure from side seam to side seam along that opening right there. It's a pretty narrow opening. As you can see, it's smaller than anything else. It's about the same as our knee at this point. So I'm going to keep it the same measurements as the knee. Now, um, your skirt may have a vent, especially if it's a skirt like this. If it doesn't, you could ignore this measurement, especially if it's a flare skirt. Um, I don't can't see where the vents are. I'm just going to assume that there is one because it would be very, very difficult to walk in this skirt if you did not have a vent. So I'm going to um, indicate where the vent is in the um, title of it. So I'm going to say it's a long side seam. So I'm going to measure or assume uh, that there's a vent in this side seam that goes maybe up to here on both sides. You know, if I don't see it here, it might be a little kick pleat in back. Actually, that's probably where it is, actually, since I don't see it here. So let's change that. I'm kind of guessing, but along center back. So it's in that center back seam. It's probably where our closure is, too. And um, what we're going to do is go ahead and measure up along center back. And let's assume that it's we'll say seven inches long. So we're going to measure seven inches. So we know that from the hem, and we can assume that it opens from the hem because that's just what vents do. They open at the bottom and they go up. So we don't necessarily need to specify that. So from the hem, uh, uh, where it opens down here, up to where that vent starts. And we'll say it's about seven inches. That'd be plenty for walking ease. Kind of kick it up to about right there. Now there's a couple other things on this skirt that um, is not necessarily on your just basic skirt spec sheet, but um, as this is sort of the simplified version and like with every garment, there can be different uh, variations of it. Um, uh, you might need to fill in your own information uh, in your own categories in the spec sheet. So for this skirt, let's just take a look about it and, and sort of think about it as well. I know there's a closure and uh, we already put a vent in that center back seam that we can't see, but I'm going to also assume that there's a zipper in the center back seam here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a category for the zipper. We're going to say that it's in the center back. Now if it's in the side seam or something, then you just name that. And then we're going to put a length to it. And we know that it has to come down to a little bit below the um, full hip. So let's say it has a length of, oh, eight inches. Now, as you can see, this is a woven skirt and it has darts in it as well. Now, I don't have any darts in here because depending on the type of skirt you have, you might not have darts or you might have seams. Um, these, of course, all need measurements according to their position. Um, if you have seams, you're going to need to make measurements on those seams. If you have darts, you're going to need to make measurements on those darts. So they, we see that there's two darts in the front, and I'm going to assume that there's two darts in the back. Now you would do them pretty similarly. So let's do the front darts first. Let's say front dart. And we're going to measure it from side seam. So all I do is I measure from the side seam into where that dart starts. Okay, very, very easy. Let's say it's about four inches. And now we have to do the same for the back. So we're going to do back dart from side seam. And we typically place the front and back darts pretty similarly in location. So I'm going to assume that's also about four inches from the side seam, maybe a little bit more because we have a little bit more room to work with um, on the back. So let's say it's about four and a half inches. Uh, 
Um, then we're going to have to have the dart depth as well. So to measure the dart depth, what we're going to do is just measure from the start down to where it stops. Okay, on the front it should be about three inches or so, three and a half, three inches. We're going to do the same thing for the back. So it should be a little bit longer. So that is how you would spec. I'll, of course, finish up with all your lovelies. I was getting a little bit of ahead of myself. You know, you're good. Your dates. Your season. Your style number. This is a fall skirt, if I ever saw it. It's a style number, one, two, three, four. Fiber content. Um, I'm going to assume that this is going to be a traditional tartan traditional tartan. This is what this check is called. It's called a tartan. Um, it's from uh, uh, Scotland originally. It's tied to the Scottish clans. Every clan has their own tartan, um, but it's they're often used in, in fashion. I believe this is a Stuart tartan. I don't know. Fiber cut. Oh, we're going to call it wool. Tartan, it looks. Let me see. Is this a twill? Looks like a twill. I see a little bit of diagonal ribbing. Let's call this two yards. No trim. Assume that there is one button. For the closure in the waistband. Or let's just say it's a hook and eye. Medium size. Our image in there and it, essentially we would have the front and back image so excuse my not having the back image oh, I'm going to paste in there oh it's because it's too big so I have to resize this So, of course, that would finish up on our skirt. Now, I just want to say that um, I'm not going to do, and I don't have specific ones for you for dresses, and a lot of you guys might be doing dresses, um, but they are essentially the same as, de as combining the top with um, the skirt um, in a couple senses. Now, if um, there's really... I can categorize dresses. I mean, there's there's just there's so many. Um, I'm just gonna quickly. Types of dresses. It's really hard to put it all in one category and give like a sort of very quick general uh, idea. But let's just take. A, um, a, a dress with a waist, okay, search dress with waist seam, it has no waist seam. Um, this one has a waist seam, does it? Which looks like it's 
here. Maybe this one does. Is that the same dress here? This one does. So um, if we take a look at this dress, we see there's a waist seam right in here. Now, um, like I said, you're either going to have a dress with a waist seam or you're not going to have a dress with a waist seam. If your dress has a waist seam, just do your spec for the dress as if, you know, you could just combine the top with the bottom, okay? Um, this, of course, would have very, you know, you'd need little, oh, this, oh, the, you know, inverted box plates open, you know, the spacing of them, the depth of where they open. Um, I'd given a cross measurement here right before they opened, and then you would have your regular mid-thigh here, and then you'd have your sweep down here. We don't get to the knee, of course. Um, but essentially, you would just add all of the information for specking a top and add all the information for specking a, shirt, a skirt and go ahead and just put them together. Um, simple, easy. Um, so just everything for a top up here, everything for a skirt down here, but it does still all go into one spec sheet. You just add all the information together. Now, if you have a dress without a waist seam, like some of these are, like this is one without a waist seam, even though Google is lying to us, and has these um, lovely darts here. These are open-ended darts. Um, so essentially what we do is we make a diamond dart, but we don't sew it up completely. So it gives us this sort of these sort of hollow tucks. Um, it's a lovely design and with a, a thick, this looks like, um, uh, this looks like, what does this look like? This looks like uh, neoprene, which is sort of a thick, fun, spongy fabric that has a lot of great volume to it. Um, so you're getting these really nice big flares and these sort of big, rounded, nice shapes in here. It's lovely. This is cute. This is really cute. I should make this. Um, anywho, lost my train of thought. So this does not have a waist seam, so you can't just... Um, edit out, you know, do the top, do the bottom. Essentially for something like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do just a top, um, you know, and so what do we do? One of the first things for the top is we did the full length from center front down. So this is center front all the way down to the hem, okay? And, um, you know, you do the, the neck drop, the shoulder width, the shoulder drop, um, armhole doesn't have sleeves, so you ignore, ignore the sleeve bits. Um, but as you go down, you get a waist. But when you do the across measurements, don't stop there. So don't stop at the waist, and, and the shirt doesn't either. I think the shirt goes all the way down to the hip. Um, but you're just going to add those other couple ones that you saw on the skirt. You're going to add the thigh. You're going to add the knee. The knee might be, this might be shorter than the knee, but let's assume the knee is right there. And then, of course, you do the sweep as well. Um, and indicate any closures and anything that you would also have in the dress. Um, okay, um, so in class, we're also going to go over, you know, your specific garments too. So hopefully that made it a little bit easier to know how to, um, spec skirts. And I'll see you in class.